Hello and welcome to Theme Park Worldwide where our Christmas festivities continue with a visit here to Legoland Windsor Resort. So yes, it's nice to be back here and see their Christmas event. And in this video, I'll be covering everything that the event has to offer. As you can see though, up here at the entrance to the park, this year they've got this huge new Lego Christmas tree that looks absolutely fantastic. So yes, I'm gonna be having a look at all the decorations and also down in Miniland as well. They always add lots of different features around there for the festival season. Now of course I'm a million annual pass holder however that doesn't actually get you into this event. You do again need to pay extra for it much like at Chessington um, when I mentioned that a couple of days ago. It is an add-on. It's much cheaper though. It's £15 to come in for the Christmas event and yet it's pretty much a full ride offering here at Legoland Winter. Water rides are closed, a couple of other bits but yeah most rides are open for this event. So come and join me. It's Christmas here at Legoland. I am really impressed with this new tree. It's amazing, isn't it? Absolutely huge, made of Lego Duplo bricks, as you can see. And yeah, you've got the flickering candles on there, which are really nice. Yeah, but it looks good at night. I don't know if there's any other lighting on it or shining at it. Can't see anything attached to it, but maybe they'll shine some other lights over towards it at night. I'm not too sure. Well, yeah, in this vlog, I will be staying through until six o'clock. So we're gonna get to see Legoland in the dark later on. And yeah, all of the wonderful Christmas lights throughout the park. It's a cold day, but you know what? Gonna make the most of it. We've got some entertainment to check out here today as well. So of course, I'll be sharing some highlights from that. Here you got all the wonderful Christmas trees just over here. Some really nice photo opportunities, but we're gonna head round to the left-hand side. So I'm making my way down into the park. But yeah, I'll just show you the map actually over here, just so you can see what's open for Christmas. Yeah, like I said, just in the intro, pretty much a full ride offering for the Christmas events. Well, there you go, there's a look at the festive map. The good thing is with this park, they've got so many indoor rides here as well. And of course, Lego Mythica down here at the bottom. Uh, that's all open for Christmas, which is good. Flight of the Skyline, the Flying Theatre, uh, fantastic indoor ride. You look over to the left just here, Deep Sea, another indoor attraction, the Haunted House Monster Party. Yeah, they've got so many great indoor attractions here at Legoland, which is really good, because it means that for the Christmas event, you can get in and escape the cold. <laughs> Starting off then with a nice ride here on the hill train. Yes, this is a transportation ride, of course, that takes you up and down the huge hill that this park is built on. I never normally get the hill train down, to be honest. I don't normally get it back up, I normally walk, so I thought, why not? Christmas treat. <laughs> That's our ride here on the hill train. So yeah, you've got two trains. There's one's making its way down, the other one is making its way up, as we can see just here. Passing up the other side. Can't wait to get back on Skyline. Genuinely one of the best rides now here in the UK. Miniland over there as well. Of course, when I was last here for Halloween, work was going on. Construction just over there on a new building. And yeah, that looks nearer towards completion now. And yeah, I'll have a good walk around Miniland later on as well, go and see all the different Christmas figures that I'm sure they've put all the way around as well. So steps off the hill train then, and yeah, all the Christmas trees look great around here, covered in snow. Similar setup to what Chessington did actually, around by Land of the Dragons. But yeah, you've got all the lights all on the bridge down here as well, Kingdom of the Pharaohs. Yeah, it looks awesome, doesn't it? Yeah, I like how they're all perfect there. Really nice and straight all the way down. There you go. <laughs> Perfection, whoever did the decorations. Yeah, it looks great around here, doesn't it? All the snow around the sides as well. Yeah, it just really makes it magical. They do a great job. It's great to step back into the world of mythical creatures. Mythica here at Legoland. And yeah, only a five minute wait for the fire and ice free fall just over there. Not too bad at all. When I was here at Halloween, it was much busier. And that's a good thing with the Christmas event. It doesn't tend to get as busy as the rest of the year here at Legoland. So yeah, it can be a good time to come to get on lots of the rides. And yeah, down here at Flight of the Skyline, the UK's only flying theater, doesn't look very busy down here either, does it? So I don't think I'm gonna be waiting too long for what is one of the best dark rides in the country. One of the best overall rides in the country, I love it. It's the soundtrack and oh, the overall experience of it is great. 
yeah, as you can see, they put all the Christmas trees down here as well, covered in snow. They look nice, don't they? No lights on them though, which is a shame. That would have been adding to it a lot more, wouldn't it? But yeah, this doesn't look very busy at all down here. And there's Maximus, the skyline out the front. There we go. Let's uh, head down and have a ride. 10 minute wait. Not too bad at all. Now this is also the first time since May this year when this ride opened that we've seen this without all the screens up in here. Of course they were installed since the ride opened um, for social distancing measures and meaning that everybody could queue up under here. But yeah, it seems weird seeing it also open like this. Um, much better though. It's still a shame that it's a cattle pen queue line like it is. However, it does look a lot better now we haven't got all the screens up. But uh, here we go. Of course I can't film on the ride, but I'll see you afterwards. Time for a nice flight with the Skyline. Maximus has invited you to travel with him on a journey further into Lego Mythica. Hopefully, you'll be lucky enough to see the mysterious fire and iceberg. But beware the four-headed chimera who lurks across the land. He's known to be a bit snappy. Oh no, everyone can't fly like you, Bobs. Instead, we've created these special seats. After you board, Maximus will pick up the gondola to take you as far as he dares. absolutely love that attraction and even more so when it's less than a 10 minute wait a brilliant addition to the UK theme park industry it really is a spectacular flying theatre the movement the visuals the smells it all comes together in a fantastic overall package I loved it back in May this year when I first experienced it and I love it even more now I think every time I ride it I just fall more in love with it it's the music as well that just really does it for me and the fact there's no narration um, it's just four minutes of an awesome I'm a score soundtrack with all the movement it's so great graceful but also at points a little bit more intense and you know what it comes together in an absolutely spectacular overall experience and then the music just carries on throughout Lego Mythica best area in this part by a long way uh, Hydra's challenge over here that isn't open for Christmas uh, because of course it's a water ride you get wet on there um, so you yeah, have the portal Christmas trees around it just to try and cover it over a little bit again quite similar to what Chessington uh, have done with Dragon's Fury and that overall area land of the dragons just tried to cover it over so it doesn't look quite as much of a mess so yeah at least they've uh, put the trees around it just here I'm gonna walk past the hotels now there's a huge Christmas tree down here I'm gonna do a few more rides because yeah as you can see it started to rain Nice look at the hotels just down there. Lovely location looking over the lake here as well. Now I tell you what, it's not that busy at all today. It's a perfect time to come to Legoland if you don't like waiting in massive queues. Yeah, if the weather's a little bit better, you're probably gonna wait a little bit for the ride, but nowhere near as much as what you wait on the busier summer days or Halloween when I was last here. So here we go, take you on deep sea adventure now. Another really quiet ride, looks walk on to me. I do love the ride system here on Deep Sea Adventure. So yeah, of course we go into these submarines, but yeah, they don't actually go underwater. They're on this like track system up here at the top. They're yeah, really interesting. Let's go and have a nice ride. Get back up. 
Yes, all my footage there from Deep Sea Adventure. Yeah, nice indoor ride there. And the ride system's fantastic. It's a shame that it's a little bit on the short side, but it's still a really good dark ride here at Legoland. And yeah, it's nice, of course, how you're actually heading underwater and seeing all of the different fish, rays, and sharks. But yeah, not too busy at all today. In fact, I think I'll be on the next cycle over here at the very festive Haunted House Monster Party. Yeah, it looks nice, doesn't it, with all the garlands there on the front? Mm -hmm. Just come off the Haunted House Monster Party. Yes, yeah, straight on there. It's a great ride. I do feel like it's a missed opportunity at Christmas, though, not calling it the Haunted House Christmas Party. One for next year, Lego Land. Um, yeah, it's a nice ride, that. Really enjoy it. Can't film on there. Um, yeah, it's a Vacoma Madhouse. So if you've been on Hex at Alton Towers, it's like that, really, but not with a dark theme. It is a party, after all, here at Lego Land. Um, but yeah, really enjoyed it and nice to get on there. But I'd love to see a Christmas overlay next year. It'd be quite nice, wouldn't it? Put some more trees inside, some garlands and maybe change the soundtrack to something a bit more Christmassy. That'd be cool, wouldn't it? Down here then now in Heart Lake City and yeah, got some more lovely Christmas lights, decorations and snow. And yeah, the festive scenes are lovely down here. He's having a snowball fight and even the snowballs are made of Lego bricks. How about that? They look nice and warm all wrapped up, don't they? Got the penguins down there as well. And yeah, you've even got a Lego star up there on the top of the trees. It's them little details, the small touches, but yeah, really go a long way in my opinion. And yeah, some nice scenes over on this side as well. And a nice sledge ride just there. It's awesome, I like how they actually made the mound there as well for him sliding down on his sledge. Got the little polar bears down here made of Lego bricks and this wonderful festive snowman as well. Oh, really nice. Yeah, I love this little section down here. They always do something nice. I mean, at Halloween, it looked good down here. And yeah, at Christmas, I think it looks even better, to be honest. Of course, there is the show down here as well. So yeah, going to be uh, catching that a little bit later on. Probably going to wait until it's dark, actually, um, to see the show. Uh, now, yeah, I just wanted to point out about some of the other rides that aren't open for Christmas. The Legoland Express, the train ride, um, that's closed for its winter maintenance. And actually, you can see the engine has been removed. Um, along with that as well, Coast Guard HQ, the boat ride, um, that's closed just around the corner there for the winter season. But yeah, we're going to head around this way now. I will go over there, I think, on the Zamperla Disco. Um, of course, that you've got Mia's Riding Adventure. And yeah, probably uh, head up towards uh, some of the other rides at the top of the park. Not forgetting Ninjago as well. So yeah, really, they've got five um, indoor dark rides here, which is brilliant. Yeah, perfect for these colder days. Footage there from Mia's riding adventure. I'm glad that the days seem to be gone though of Lego Land building rides that haven't got much theming. Yeah, that's the problem with Mia's. Like, there's not much to look at on there. Um, but yeah, it's another ride that adds to the capacity, especially on a busy day. But yeah, gonna head over onto Laser Raiders then now. Probably my least favorite out of all the dark rides here, but it's still an indoor attraction and the facade looks so much better since they did all the repainting work on the front. And yeah, as you can see, they've got some lovely string Christmas lights hanging up either side just there as well. So yeah, lots of decorations throughout the park for the festive season. This is another one that I can take you on. So let's go and ride. Here we go then on Laser Raiders. Biggest queue of the day so far. I'll wait about 15 minutes for this one. Yeah, it's not my favorite dark ride this, but I thought, oh, come on, take you along for the ride anyway. Because some of you watching this, it might be the first time you've seen a Lego Land vlog. So yeah, welcome, if you are new to the channel. I'm doing absolutely shocking here, there we go. <laughs> it's always hard to film and shoot on a ride. Oh, watch out for the falling boxes. Annoyed at the noise. 
live footage there from Laser Raiders. And yeah, I just thought I'd show you as well. You've got Scarab Bouncers that's open inside here as well. Another nice indoor attraction undercover. Just outside Laser Raiders here in Kingdom of the Pharaohs, you've got three other rides for the little ones as well. So you've got Thunder Blazer just over there off to the right. Desert Chase just over here as well. So yeah, you've got the Way Swinger, the Merry Go Round, and also as well, you've got Aero Nomad just over there as well, which is the nice mini Ferris wheels. So yeah, you've got quite a lot of rides open here for Legoland's Christmas events. Well, I'm gonna head up this way towards Miniland now. Oh, I like this Christmas outfit that they've got down here made of Lego bricks. Oh, he's awesome. Really cute. <laughs> but yeah, we're making our way up now. Just gonna have a look around Miniland and spot lots of other festive editions. It really is the highlight of Legoland for me, coming and walking around Miniland and seeing what the awesome model team do for all the different events. At Halloween, you've got vampires, ghosts and pumpkins. And yeah, at Christmas, we've got all these festive scenes. Look at all the Santas just over there. We're in up the hill. That's quite nice, isn't it? Yeah, and you can also spot some lights and the trees just off to the right there. And yeah, you've got Father Christmas down there at the bottom. And yeah, you've got loads of nice Christmas scenes going on down here. The Christmas tree, you've got the one just outside there as well. And yeah, this is all in the Scotland section of Miniland. Here comes one of the trains coming by. Of course, the renovation continues. They've been restoring it for nearly a year now. And every time you come here, there's so many new things to see and different changes. Oh, look at them up there as well. Uh, on some skis and also sledging down. Oh, there we go there, giving a wreath out. Oh, there's loads of stuff for Christmas. Welcome to Christmas in London. There's the tube just down there. Absolutely love the London Underground. And here you've got some string lights just wrapped around some of the buildings there. And yeah, down here you've got an ice skating rink. And here we go, this is nice. Got some little Easter eggs on here. So there you go, you can see some of the other Merlin attractions. Hyder Park's on there. Thought Park on there as well. The Coca-Cola London Eye. Yeah, it's quite nice, isn't it? But there's one problem with that. It's missing Alton Towers. Come on, there's Alton Towers, the best of the lot. <laughs> there you go. Yeah, some nice little Easter eggs as you're walking around here. Do you want to build a snowman just down there as well? This is all Covent Garden. So yeah, this always looks lovely at Christmas. Oh, there we go. Nice big Christmas tree. I'll actually be going to see that over my Vlogmas series over on Adventure Sean. So go and check that out. You'll see me walking around the actual Covent Garden in London. One of my favourite parts of the city. Trafalgar Square just over there. And yeah, you've got the Christmas tree. Again, I'm going to be seeing that over in Vlogmas. Yeah, I tell you what, I feel like they've put even more around here for Christmas than usual. Really nice. But yeah, you've got the big Christmas tree just over there. And it's nice how it's got all the little lights on there as well. If you're wondering what's flying over us, well, of course, you've got loads of different aircraft making the way over. That's the thing with here, we're so close to Heathrow Airport. So yeah, if you've never been to the park before, yeah, right near Heathrow. And yeah, we've got Santa up there as well with all the reindeer. Oh, that's nice, isn't it? Wonderful festive scene. You've also got some new lights over on the London Eye there as well. I don't know if they're just for Christmas or not, but yeah, they've put some uh, new lighting on there, which is good to see. And since last time I was here, this whole London section has had a big refurbishment. They've redone all the roads around here. It looks so much better. And I've noticed a bit of uh, new paid sponsorship down here. There we go, we've got the John Lewis and Waitrose trucks down here. They're new. So yeah, obviously got a bit of paid sponsorship going on. I don't mind that down here though. It kind of adds to the realism in my opinion. But yeah, it is really nice down here in London. Oh, some carol singers just outside St Paul's there. Yeah, you can just spend ages walking around spotting all the Christmas editions. And it's the same at Halloween as well, which is really nice. Just around the back of Buckingham Palace then now, and it looks like the Queen is doing some snow angels just down there. And also making a snowman as well. <laughs> and she spots Santa up there on the roof. I love it, just walking around all the different scenes in Miniland and see what they've added for the festive season. Oh, this is new. I mean, you'll see this better at night. But yeah, they've added a Christmas projection onto the front of Windsor Castle just here. Yeah, that's really nice. It'd be good if they did that on the actual Windsor Castle, wouldn't it? Like a projection show for Christmas. But yeah, and there's the actual equipment for it, just down the bottom. Yeah, that's nice, isn't it? Around the other side of London then now, down here on the South Bank. And yeah, you got all the Christmas markets set up just down there as well, as you can see. And yeah, if I zoom in for you, it's a good thing with this camera. We've got a great zoom for stuff like this. You can see all the really small details that they've added down there. Like the elf costumes, the holly wreath, Father Christmas. Yeah, really love what they do down here in Miniland. It's one of the highlights of the Christmas events, in my opinion. Down here in Brighton then now, and I tell you what, Miniland has come a long way this year. 
with this big refurbishment. Yeah, we've got the fire truck, that looks like it's had an overhaul. And the bus down here as well, the open top coach with the nice lights on the front. I'm really impressed with what they've done, maintaining it and keeping its beauty. But yeah, it's great to see most of the movement now back on and working. The windmills, the trains, even the combine harvester over there. Yeah, it's brilliant to see. Yeah, I reckon maybe some more of these models are going to get refurbished. That's Brighton Palace Pier just there. I mean, that looks like it could do with a bit of an overhaul when you compare it to some of the newer bricks. But yeah, there's so much movement going on around here. It's brilliant to see. Yeah, all these buildings are redone. Wow, it looks so bright and colourful. And this really is the heart of Legoland, so it's nice how they're looking after it. And yeah, all this down here has been completely rebuilt. Most of it, to be honest, they've also replaced a lot of the real grass um, with this AstroTurf just here. Because of course it doesn't need cutting, you know, it's easier to maintain and manage then, isn't it, as well, which is cool. Well, the cable car's back on down here now as well. And again, that's been completely rebuilt and working nicely just down here. I wouldn't fancy being on there though. Looks a bit bumpy, doesn't it, as we're climbing up the mountain just here. <laughs> but yeah, I love the scale of this, fantastic. Well, I spoke about this a little bit earlier on, but yeah, as you can see, the new building is going up down here in Miniland. So yeah, this was just in the early stages of construction uh, towards the end of the main season. And yeah, that's really coming on now. Yeah, it's going to be a building, so it's going to be really interesting to see what goes inside there, especially with it being down here in the heart of Miniland. But yeah, going to carry on now. I'm going to look around the park. Let's go and see what other rides are open. Just here in the imagination area of the park then now. And yeah, it does feel pretty quiet around here over Christmas. Not loads going on. Uh, Sky Riders closed. Uh, that's the aerial ride that you can see the track for just behind me. However, you have got the 4D cinema that's open down here doing shows. Yeah, that's another indoor attraction that's open as part of Legoland at Christmas. I still think this area is going to be up for some sort of development so soon. Uh, you may remember towards the end of the season, uh, there was all markings everywhere on the floor. A lot of them seem to have rubbed off now but I reckon they were surveying the land ready for the next big development here at Legoland. I'm pretty confident whatever they do next is going to be around this imagination area of the park. Since we've no place to go let it snow, let it snow, let it snow. Oh lovely, still got all the Christmas trees around here. And here you got the lovely giraffes up here that are very nice. But yeah, with those, they were refurbished a couple of years back. And so it'll be interesting to see what happens with this area. I guess with them, they could easily just move them and put them somewhere else. But yeah, there's a list of all the different 4D show times. It's well worth watching Lego Mythica, Journey to Mythica. Like, it's a brilliant 4D show that I definitely recommend. But yeah, Skyrider all's closed up there, um, probably because of the weather you know you've got to think with it being so cold and if it gets ice on the track uh, then yeah it wouldn't be able to operate but yeah you've got a nice photo op just around here so i'll uh, take you around here and show you that now let it snow let it snow let it snow they must spend a fortune on bringing all of these christmas trees in every year they've got so many and yeah just notice up the top there christmas pudding you see it just up there on the right hand side there you go it's all these little touches that i love that they do for christmas here here we go, we got Santa up here as well. Awesome Lego Santa. How are you doing? <laughs> Merry Christmas. Bye. <laughs> Love it, yeah, some really nice photo opportunities all the way around here. And yeah, you've got the Lego Santa just over there as well. Yeah, really good with a festive backdrop of all the Christmas trees. I tell you what though, it is cold. Park's open through until six o'clock, but it'd be interesting just to see, oh, sorry, <laughs> just how many people we're in about. Uh, how many people are gonna stay through until six o'clock? Well, you know, it's a quiet day here at the land of Lego, when even the rides down here at Duplo Valley don't have a queue, especially the Duplo Dino Coaster. Absolutely walk on just over there. The nice little junior coaster, two lap special that you've got down here. But yeah, I may as well have a ride on it whilst I'm here. I don't like going out normally because I don't like taking up a seat. You know, I'm just an adult here. I don't like taking up a seat and building the queue up for everybody else. But you know what, with it being um, so quiet and absolutely walk on, May as well go and have a go on it. But yeah, I do like the spinning focal point there in the middle. Literally two people waiting. Okay, Just had an awesome ride then over on the Duplo Dino Coaster. And here we go, we've got Father Christmas coming along just here on a sleigh as well. How nice is this? Here we go, Merry Christmas! Yeah. <laughs> On his sleigh, oh, that's awesome. It's so fast. I like how it's all Lego bricks in the back there. <laughs> oh, amazing. It's really nice. Yeah, I love that. So many more Christmas trees coming in snow. It's lovely, isn't it? 
And yeah, yeah just, as you've just seen the Duplo Airport, that's open. Well, Fairytale Brook, again, it's a water ride, so that's closed. I do like the clear signage though. It's too cold for a boat ride. <laughs> and it tells you about another attraction that's open in that vicinity. So yeah, that's a really nice idea, actually. Uh, it keeps people well informed about what's open, what's closed, and yeah, how you can get to lots of different rides here at the park. Also, if you do like puppet shows, they've also got a couple of different shows down here at the Duplo Valley Theatre, as you can see there. Owls and the Shoemaker, and also the Pied Piper of Hamlin as well. And they take place undercover just here at the theatre area. But yeah, gonna head now around towards Ninjago. And yeah, I'm gonna be watching the main show uh, down by the lighthouse in Heart Lake City later on. I think it's on at five o'clock. So yeah, I'm gonna wait until it gets dark for that with, for the uh, harbour lights. <laughs> I think it's a really nice touch how the plane driving home for Christmas over on the actual driving school. The little things like that that I really like here at Legoland that they do. They care so much about the overall experience and especially for the different events. But yeah, you've got a penguin just here who's decorating a nice Christmas tree as well. But yeah, in terms of the driving school attractions, both the full size one and the small one are open for the Christmas season. Well, it's still raining here at Legoland, but I'm making the most of it, showing you everything that's on offer around the park and getting some more rides in as well. Yeah, you've also got Balloon School that's open just down here. And yeah, the park's really filtered out. I mean, there's still over two hours to go until close, but yeah, it's just so quiet. You know, I think it's just that cold, and especially if you've got kids, they don't want to be out in the freezing cold, do they? Uh, you've got the Fire Academy down here that's closed over Christmas because of course you are shooting water out. And yeah, let's face it, you've got to put a lot of energy and effort into that. I've only ever been on it once here, I think. <laughs> Bounty is also open down here in Ninjago and yeah I'm gonna head around now and experience Ninjago the ride. Looks great with all the Christmas lights though, you've got all the icicles hanging down there off the building. Only a five minute wait for this one. So yeah, let's uh, go and have a ride on this interactive attraction. Ooh, so you've got to use your hand and keep moving it like that. There you go. <laughs> and that changes the direction of where you're shooting. Quite a funny one. over on Ninjago. It's a nice interactive ride and again it's something else indoors. And that's what you really need for these festive events. And yeah it looks really nice around here with all the light, the snow on the floor and yeah some nice Christmas lights on the top just here as well. So yes, checking out this side of the park, they're now making my way down towards Knight's Kingdom. And yeah, Jolly Rocker and Spinning Spider are both open. And yeah, with minimal weights this evening as well. I think most people have gone, to be honest. 
Yeah, all the Christmas lights around here are nice. I like how they use a lot of coloured lights. You know, it matches the Lego bricks, doesn't it? We are here at Legoland after all. There you go, five minutes for most of the way. It's balloon school closed at dusk, 20 minutes. Didn't look like that when I was down there. Um, yeah, gonna make my way now around towards the dragons. Yeah, like I say, water rides are closed. That's the same with Pirate Falls just down here. Um, of course, that's a log flume ride, so that's shut. And also Viking River Splash, the rapids. In fact, you can't even walk past the rapids. They've got that pathway um, all blocked off around there. I guess it's because they don't really want you walking past too many closed rides. We've also got the uh, really nice dragon Christmas tree down here this year. So that was actually up at the front of the park last year. Obviously, as we saw at the start, we've got a brand new Christmas tree for this year that looks impressive, like really nice up there. This is still beautiful, but yeah, the one they've got now is incredible. Yeah, I reckon we're gonna see some nice lights on that one at the top, especially because this one's lit up down here with the paws just on the floor there, shining up and lighting up the tree. Magical. Here we go then, so this is where everybody seems to be, down here in Knight's Kingdom. And yeah, just over there, Christmas Kingdom. That's the entrance, of course, to where you go and meet the big man himself, Father Christmas. Yeah, you got the Lego reindeer just out the front there as well. Really nice set entrance setup. Worth pointing out that to meet Father Christmas here, you do need to purchase an additional ticket online and get your time slot for that. Because um, yeah, of course, it does get very busy, as you can see by this area. I'll tell you what though, the lights are lovely around here. All the Christmas trees. Merlin's Challenge is open just over there as well. And then, wow, look at the Knight's Kingdom Castle. Beautifully floodlit with the nice blue lights on there. That looks incredible, doesn't it? And yeah, I'm gonna have a ride on the Dragon Coaster because yeah, that's open too. Along with that, you've got Dragon's Apprentice just off to the left. The other little junior coaster, uh, that's open. So yeah, all the roller coasters here are open. I know they've only got three, but still, yeah, they're all, all three of them are open here at Legoland. But yeah, nice kingdom. Looks amazing around here with all the trees, all the snow. Wow, and then magical blue lights. That's a great photo, isn't it? Again, take a nice picture. Of course, don't forget you can follow us on Instagram, theme park worldwide. We're also on TikTok now as well. Looks great all lit up in here, doesn't it? Really nice. I'll tell you what, it's busy around here. I guess a lot of people are eating here as well because you've got the big indoor restaurants. Yeah, only a five minute wait for the dragons. Yeah, gonna have a nice ride on here. Well, unfortunately, I can't take you on on this one. What is nice at Legoland is there's a few rides where they don't mind you filming on, you know, not everything, but yeah, there's more here than the other Merlin parks, which is nice. Yeah, time to go and discover the secrets that await. Love this ride, nice family coaster. Brings back all the childhood memories coming back here to Legoland and riding this one. There you get some nice views looking over the courtyard just down here. Well, I think it's a little bit more than five minutes, actually. Depends how many trains it's running. Still not too bad. But yeah, it's nice up here. You've got all the Christmas garlands around as well. Yeah, and this really magical atmosphere. And there's Merlin the Wizard just up there as well. <laughs> we made Hold on tight and keep your arms and legs inside the dragon. Good luck to you. I hope you prove yourselves as the greatest of all heroes in the night's kingdom. Doesn't the castle look absolutely awesome? It's so magical, isn't it? And yeah, wait about 15 minutes there for the dragon running two trains, 
great ride and the indoor section on there is brilliant the little dark ride at the start and yeah they've had some new smells in there as well uh, so that was really nice and just adds to the overall experience along with that just had a ride on the other two attractions down in this area as well uh, because why not make the most of it here at Legoland yeah it's not too busy at all and yeah these rides normally get some pretty big queues but uh, anyway gonna make my way now down towards um, Heart Lake City because of course gonna be watching the show down there tonight and showing some highlights for you uh, we're gonna have a look through the Christmas lights on the way and uh, show you all of those because yeah it looks absolutely wonderful I mean the castle there just behind me with that sky tonight looks gorgeous doesn't it So colourful isn't it with all the lights, I love these ones up on the trees, yeah all wrapped around the branches, it takes a long time to do but it's definitely worth it, the end result is brilliant, yeah it just really makes it having all the nice colourful lights around here, still loads of planes flying over of course next to Heathrow, the UK's busiest airport, but yeah I do like it, it's a bit of a plane spot on myself, <laughs> I do quite like geeking out when I come here to Legoland. Here's a look at the wonderful Christmas lights and Ninjago the ride. Looks nice all the icicles doesn't it? Here's a look at all the nice lights down here on the bridge now. Yeah it's beautiful. Really impressed with the Christmas decorations. Feel how they get better each and every year. So yeah making our way now down to Heart Lake City. Yeah looking forward to seeing the show and then afterwards of course have a stroll back up to the uh, exit of the park and yeah I'll show you the uh, big Christmas tree up there as well all lit up at night with all the candles flickering on there yeah it looks really good all the nice lights around here fantastic so magical it's nice how they've got all the snow down as well quite a lot of the rides here have got permanent lighting and the park has you know there's no need for loads of generators and temporary lighting uh, which is really nice actually that's something that they invest in pretty well down here but yeah oh, it looks beautiful doesn't it laser raiders fantastic so colourful isn't it with all the lights down here absolutely wonderful and yeah obviously the train's not open but yeah I like how they've got the lights on the barriers just here I don't know if that was intentional or not but they've left them on or it was a safety thing but yeah it looks quite nice doesn't it well just before I head over and watch the show steps here into Lego Mythica the world of mythical creatures just to show you this at night with all the lighting really atmospheric Maximus all lit up over there and yeah just all these trees here in the foreground being lit up is beautiful with that sky tonight as well it is so atmospheric it really is since a very long time ago the citizens of my town have taken part in an annual Christmas Eve tradition and to think it all started on a day very much like today, so many Christmases ago. Children were singing, dancing, playing in the streets. Mums and dads were busy baking up treats. Everywhere you looked, everywhere you turned, the residents of my town were getting ready to celebrate Christmas. But on that one Christmas Eve, so many Christmases ago, there was a terrible storm in Holiday Harbour. The wind blew so fierce, no one wanted to go outside. We saw all the children of my town gathered around the entire harbour, watching as the wind blew and the waves rocked the tiny boat. Father, for the children of my town, a bright light on this stormy night Mayor and the children saved Christmas Eve, and on that cold, windy night, Santa Claus saw the lighthouse and was able to find my town and wished everyone a very Merry Christmas. It's a glorious time at Christmas. There's magic in the air. It's time to cheer on the mayor and signal Santa Claus that my town is ready once again this Christmas Eve. We're getting ready for Christmas. We're hanging up the holly. We're getting ready for Christmas and making my town jolly. So let's go. We're getting ready for Christmas with all our friends and family. Gather by the hearth. We're getting ready for a party. It's time for the mayor to signal who's the mayor.
dress himself up with his coat and his hat, and together with all the children of my town, it's time to signal Santa. Join the mayor and come down to the lighting of the Holiday Harbor Lighthouse. Together now, ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. disco now down here in Heart Lake City. Really enjoyed the Harbour Light show there. Definitely one to watch at night. Uh, much better seeing it in the dark with all the lighting, the music. Yeah, proper Christmas vibes there with that show. And it was absolutely awesome. But yeah, I love how much involvement the lighthouse has with all the lighting on there. And yeah, with the storyline with the mayor and just the overall uh, theme of it. Yeah, it's a really good festive production down here at Legoland that is definitely worth coming to see. And yeah, it's a probably party after the show down here with all the mirror balls, all the lights around. Yeah, absolutely fantastic and really enjoyed it. But uh, there we go. I'm going to make my way now back up to the huge Christmas tree made of them Duplo bricks. Go and see that and we'll wrap up this vlog here from Legoland. What a great day. Well, I've just come off the hill train then, and yes, I've been lazy today because I got it down this afternoon, and then of course I've come back up on it tonight, but why not? Um, but yeah, here's a look at the absolutely incredible Christmas tree that looks amazing. Like, how gorgeous is that? And the good thing is with something like this, they're going to bring it out every year now. Yes, it's probably cost a fortune to build and all the time and effort that's gone into it, but it is definitely worth it. Yeah, there's all the lights down at the bottom shining up. And of course you've got all the candles that light up on the tree and they've got the lighting on there just perfect it is spectacular isn't it wow really like that an amazing addition to this brilliant family christmas event what a fantastic day I've had here at Legoland, enjoying everything that they've got to offer for Christmas. It really is a brilliant event. We enjoyed it last year, but it's even better this year with more decorations around the park, including the stunning new tree. Really impressed with that. Uh, the entertainment down on the stage there in the harbour was also fantastic, and it's definitely one to watch at night. So yeah, I'd recommend staying and watching it in the dark. In terms of the ride offering here, it's brilliant how much is open. Only the water rides and a couple of other bits closed. So yeah, you really 
really getting a lot of value for money. And as an annual pass holder, it's actually cheaper to come here to Legoland than it is Chessington, which is quite interesting. Um, but yeah, it's been absolutely fantastic. Really enjoyed it. And yeah, definitely recommend this family Christmas event. Just wrap up warm if you're coming over the next few weeks because it is absolutely freezing. And I think that's why the park's really filtered out tonight. Uh, so much quieter now uh, than it was earlier. But yeah, I've hardly waited 15 minutes maximum for a ride. That is unheard of at Legoland normally. So it is well worth coming during this festive event and uh, to be able to enjoy it. And it's been a Sunday on the day that I've filmed this. And I imagine it's quieter on a Sunday uh, than it will be on a Saturday. So try and come on a Sunday if you can do to get more rides done. That's my top tip for you. But there we go from the beautiful Christmas tree and an absolutely fantastic festive day here at Legoland Windsor. That leaves me with one final thing to say. Merry Christmas and get out there and keep on riding.